okay, let's actually save the world this time. Yay! Uh, you, you very pointedly ignored the, the artificial <laughs> chaos yeah, level for that playthrough. <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> you took the, the most neutral route and then just sort of diagonaled your way to victory. Well, uh, whatever, uh, whatever the arc level, the Sonic race is a very, very easy, uh, good mission to finish, so you know what? I'm gonna do that one. Yay! Hey, so beat hunting down artificial chaos is for a second time. I, w I am never touching that level ever again. If there's ever a reason I need to play Shadow the Hedgehog, I am avoiding that level like the black fucking plague. Wait. Ted, Ted, if we if we end up doing that con in March, I will pay you 50 bucks to play the that black level live. You couldn't plague. pay me 5,000. <laughs> Ted, okay, maybe 5, Ted, Ted 5, we're already 000. making you play Sonic Genesis. No, Ted. I refuse. <laughs> Ted. I refuse. Ted. I saved his ass for platinum. Shadow the Hedgehog donation drive. What? <laughs> the Black Fucking Plague. That sounds Wait, like Shadow the Hedgehog, of when I play this STD. fucking game for charity, I don't like the world uh. that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, donation drive. Plug you actually pay if you actually get to five thousand dollars you have to play the level again. No. <laughs> Ted, 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 what you think about it, what you wanna do, you wanna you wanna start up a charity where you wanna you wanna play this game for money so you can spend that money making sure no one else has to play this game ever again. Uh I don't know. I don't know if I like people enough to make none of them ever have to play this again. I mean, well, that sounds again. like an awfully good thing to do, and I am quite the dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in case you guys haven't noticed by now. You know, I think I kind of have, considering a lot of people have been calling him Loki. That yeah, I kind of have gotten the sense that he is a dick. Well, he <laughs> is. He looks like Loki. <laughs> the strength to face oneself has been made manifest. <laughs> Ninja Disco I Frog. Fucking Mara. No, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I don't know who it would be, but it wouldn't be fucking him. Who? Um, in Shin Megami Tensei, one of the demons is named Mara, which is the Japanese slang word for penis, and he's just a <laughs> big dick riding a carriage. It's symbolic. No, it's not symbolic. It's Atlas being fucking disgusting. <laughs> Ryan, it, Ryan, it's not symbolic. It's just bollock. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Ah, oh, God, the vacuum gun. I it's almost, dun, dun, it's dun, almost dun, dun, as useless dun, dun, as the magic hand, and only almost because of these goddamn platforms. I like the magic hand. <laughs> the magic hand did bullshit. Yeah, the, magic the, magic hand? Hand. the magic hand sucked. They needed, no, they needed to put one one power up in every level and forgot the rain out of stuff for Sonic, so it's like, uh, fuck it, gloves. Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> what did the gloves do, sir? They shrink things and then throw them. <laughs> Uh, super. <laughs> Always made me want a Sonic basketball spin-off game, though. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> goes for the jam. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> we'll call it Sonic Magic Hands. No, we'll oh, call God, it Sonic a... Jam. Yes, oh, wait. Yeah. We'll call it Sonic, Sonic Jam. jam? Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Must be the shoes. Kind of guilty pleasure, I'm sorry. We should have saved that. We should have saved that title for some, for, for the basketball spin-off. Why do we have to use it in a collection? Hey, Sonic Jam is the best compilation, hands down. I, I, it. I agree. I is agree. <laughs> what yeah. about Mega Collection? Oh, Sonic Me Jam is a, is a compilation collection for the Saturn. Mega, oh. Mega, Mega Collection is fine, but Jam, but Jam, or you know, Jam like added in like, like the 3D second had all that history stuff, and also they added stuff to the games, like they put the Spin Dash to Sonic One if you so choose. Yeah, like, I, they just I, I, some I, it, it doesn't effort. sound much, but I really do dig like the. No, uh, no, Mega yeah. Collection had some history stuff. Like it had some of the. Well, had yeah, the but it, 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 in terms of actually it, it, altering it, it, the. In terms of like actually altering the game, Sonic Jam actually gave you like easy mode or original mode, normal mode, I, a spin Sonic dash Jam, feature in Sonic. Ted, Sonic Ted. Jam, while it may have been, you know, somewhat of, of a rushed answer to the fact that they didn't have any Sonic stuff on the Saturn at that point, um, it, it was a, it was a compilation that you don't really see from Sega these days, and that is it had some real, honest to god, genuine effort to it, and hmm. they added enough meat to make it worth buying the shit again. Well, I mean, I mean the, the, the Sonic World, they say the Sonic World, because they also added this, this little, very small 3D section where you can run around as Son uh, Sonic and do a few little challenges. They say that was used as a basis for what what would become SA1. In, ter in terms of like um, how Sonic control... It, obviously, it was a, it's a very early pitch, but it, it's been said they used that as yeah, like a... I, as, I, as, I, as, like, 
a, a jumping off point of like where to where how to handle Sonic in 3D. Mm. Okay, completely unrelated, but my vacuum gun has an ammo count. That makes less sense than my sword having an ammo count. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, Ted, noticed that. What the Ted, Ted, it makes purpose as all vacuum cleaners have some kind of bag you have to empty. That's just letting you know how you know. But how you don't throw vacuum. away the vacuum once it empties up. Wow, yeah, I do. Our vacuum has well, gotten wrong really with you. full of air. Thank you, Sonic. I will go up. <laughs> Mister, pointing out the obvious uh, as usual. E uh, excuse you, door. <laughs> 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 this this fucking gun is pointless, but you need you feel like you need to carry it throughout the entire level because well there's all these parts where you need to use it. <sighs> so you're either swapping through you're either swapping guns like mad, which I hate doing because if there's one thing I actually like doing in this game is having a gun with 300 fucking bullets. <laughs> yeah. Or you or you just got to stick with the vacuum gun which sucks. I didn't see any branching pathways for a second you know, there. I thought you were going to chaos control into a damn wall. If you, if you time it right, the, the vacuum <laughs> that gun would have been actually, funny. <laughs> If you time it, the vacuum gun can actually end enemies really quickly. Well, no, well, you can't use the vacuum gun on the elite mooks to sort of uh, suck them up. You have to homing attack those. The vacuum gun won't work on those guys. Yeah. So, and since they're the most common enemy in the level, fuck you. That is pretty much what the game is saying. Yep. So it, it's not pointless in the context that it doesn't work at all. It's pointless in the context of the one situation in the game where you're forced to use it. No, I think you, you need to use it in the Doom to suck up all of Knuckles' as small bombs. Fuck that level, ah, too. Ah, right. <laughs> I remember that. That was a pain in the ass. A lot of this oh, game Oh, how ladylike of you, ass, door. That door's a dude. Come on, I know this is like Square Enix level of androgyny, but that is a very clearly a male door. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, you know, Ted, girls can fart too. I don't know. That 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 door definitely looked like a guy. To, to be honest, I, I was know, there a I dick on this... that door? I don't know. Just look at it. Its muscle structure is very masculine. It's well, you know, still there are symbolic. I, I know this is I know this is a, a tangent, uh, a tangential as hell. But you know, I never understood why people seem to think Sephiroth is so bloody androgynous when Vincent Valentine in his Turk suit has like all the, these uber womanly curves. All Sephiroth really has that's androgynous is long ass hair. Hold on a second, you get feminine out of Vincent? What's no, look at you? look at any look at look at Vincent Valentine when he's in his Turks uniform. He clearly has curved hips. So I will uh, do some research because uh, <laughs> it's been a long time since I played Dirt of Cerberus. <laughs> so uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since I played it too. Well, well, uh, Lewis brings up a point. There, there can be men with you know curvy hips as much as women having muscular arms and such. Yeah, well, that's yeah. wrong. <laughs> well, you know, it's just like I didn't thought Sephiroth never really came off as the most androgynous um, I never got Square girl, Enix I... character by a long shot. You know, there's there's by plenty Shonen? of uh, Laguna seemed more uh, uh, more. Hey, really? How do you get that out of Laguna? I don't know. Just the little bits that I've seen of him just seemed very uh, feminine. Dude, dude, he's he, he's he's got it for the woman at the piano counter, and he has leg cramps. That's pretty much his entire character right there. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who you guys are talking about, so I'm going to Final assume. Final Fantasy. So I'm going to assume. Final Fantasy. How open the chipmunks? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Also, his name is very feminine. You know, Laguna. I don't know. That seems like a very girly that name to me. That does sound like a girl name. Uh, that doesn't sound like again, a Ted. Or a name to me. It just doesn't sound like a name at all, really. But then again, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Apparently, I heard that Ted can be a fe female name too. I don't know why, but wait, you know. what? 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 Fun <laughs> fact. A fun fact, just for the sake of going on what we're talking about here. You can actually jump over the barrier gates that lead to that chaos room I've done it. Wait, <laughs> what? Yup. Yeah. So if you accidentally turn one on, uh, turn one on, one on on the way, so you're not completely fucked? If you know how to maneuver Shadow Midair just right, you can jump off of the rail and you can maneuver it back through the gates and you can completely ignore the whole good hero thing where you have to deactivate all the barriers. I've done it plenty of times. Wow. Well, it's a good thing the only one I activated was the one right next to the barrier, so it didn't really matter a whole lot. Mm -hmm. uh.
Your rule ends here, and it ends now. Yeah. So Ellipses. As oh opposed God. to ending it later. <laughs> the game's Wait a minute, we're not going to kill you when we actually beat you. Oh, so good. We actually wow. just you. The game's over, he says. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. I'm clocking out now. <laughs> Sonic, no, we got Sonic. two more parts. Sonic is always Fuck. using these weird kind of like game methods. Like in Heroes, when he goes to Shadow, he goes to Eggman, this looks like Checkmate. He clearly has no idea what Checkmate means. He clearly has no idea what he's talking about. Sonic Have likes you? to... Sonic likes to use metaphors to try and look smart, but it ends up looking like a massive Sonic, twat. Sonic, <laughs> Sonic, you don't, you don't seem to me like the kind of guy who would sit still long enough to play a game of chess. Yeah, no, don't no. say checkmate. I feel like <laughs> Sonic would be the kind of guy who would jump his knight over pawns like in checkers and say king me, and wait, then think wait, that he won. What about, what about speed chess? <laughs> it was weird to go to go back to a conversation we had a few parts ago. We had Black Doom just say, "Get ready to die." So what I'm going to assume Sega did is that Sega only wanted like the quote unquote evil characters to use words like "die" and "death," whereas they made the quote unquote hero characters look really lame. I said, "I'm going to destroy." Well, no, the com the com well the commander said, "Good die," but then again, we're supposed to think he's a prick. So yeah, okay, it never is a mind. Prick, I don't care. He's the hero of the game. He's my favorite. <laughs> Shut yeah. up! Shut up! <laughs> yeah, he kind of is a prick. Heroic music. Yay. I've got all seven and chaos emeralds. Good for you, Shadow. Think good, that, good that you stole four of these from us. <laughs> well, Sonic's right there, so maybe he's like... By the way, how are you, by the way, how are we going to get back home? The ship is powered by a chaos emerald. Oh, by the way, where was he keeping the rest of the emeralds? They were clearly somewhere off screen. I know, I just like how Shadow Sonic has his hands on his hips, kind of kind of annoyed. Like, Please. you really well, need to keep all of those fucking like, things. Well, it looks like my job here is done. You didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? <Okay. laughs> hey, the game's not called Sonic the Hedgehog, Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, to answer your question, there's a cutscene earlier where you see Shadow holding two emeralds, and he literally just kind of, like, it's, it's off screen, but you see his hands literally just shove them up his ass. So yeah. that's where he keeps it. They're up in his rectum. But they were off screen, like off the side of the screen. They floated in from somewhere other than on his person. Who was holding onto them? Just, just off camera, Knuckles is slowly throwing them at him. Here, <laughs> <laughs> take this! So anyway, we've got the Magnify version of All of Hell Shadow, which uh, I, yeah, I, I'm kind of tied between this and the Cru Crush 40 Really? Version. I hate this version. I, think I, I don't know, it's wrong. I, I, like the, I like the Crush 40 version more. Crush 40 versions for me. The Crush 40 version is one of my favorite Crush 40 songs. This it's, version, the uh, exact, it's the exact same fucking song, only one's, one's Crush 40, the other is... Uh, no, 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 no. I like the, I like, I like the guitar, Journey, I like Journey, the guitar would, riffs in this one a bit better than the Journey, Crush 40. I, I like say, the vocals I would better say in Crush June, 40. I would say June actually kind no. of did a lot of the music. Like, the, the lyrics are the same. But like June kind of redid a lot of like the melody of the music. And for my money, I think the solo in the Crush 40 version is fantastic. This version, this version just seems like a kind of like really low talent grunge band, just like in someone's basement singing this. Like I don't. Well, I like, I like, I, I'd rather have. Uh, what was the lead singer? Johnny. Johnny no, Gioelli. Like, Fucking Johnny Gioelli. <laughs> All right. I, 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 I like, I like the vocals coming out of his voice more than this guy, whoever this guy is. This guy, Mike Shout, sir, something. But ironically, uh, not ironically, but just a little point. June, the the. <laughs> The brother of the lead singer of this band, I forget their surname, teamed up with June Sonoy and formed a, a mini band called Bubblicious Boulevard, and they performed a bunch of like one night gigs in Japan for like about two years ago. Huh? How huh. very odd. Yeah. Anyway, I was watching the CG little flashbacks here, and I just realized why the gun soldier felt the need to shoot Maria. Because he saw female Cthulhu and thought that, that was the ultimate life form. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, it all wraps around in the end. I, I, I do hate her redesign in this game. It is bad, yeah. It's yeah. just, it's very anime. And it, it clashes with everything else because the, the Sonic, the, the animals always look like a Disney or Looney Tunes cartoon. The humans have got this semi-realistic, but not really because it's a GameCube look to them and then you just got Maria who looks like she just jumped out of the pages of a generic manga or anime and she just clashes with everything. Oh no, come on. Oh, I do. I, 
There's Actually, some I, manga that do better than that. Oh, well, no, I guess I'm saying There's, generic. Low she's just, he, he's just commenting how it clashes. That's all. It's not whether I, it's bad or not. I mean, it I just like clashes. some manga. I'm just, just saying wanna, that the, the style clashes. Yeah. I just, I just okay. want to point out this song is, of course, a Ted said uh, manga fire. They originally they had a different song for this game. They wrote called "Who Am I." It was actually going to be the apparently it was going to be the main title theme. It, it's one. It's one on there. It, it, they made it, but because of the way Sega deals with this stuff. Is that when you, when you make a game a song for a Sonic game or a Sega game, Sega owns the rights to it completely. Yeah. And so they, they, they made the song, but they made the song, but they actually felt this song is is too good to kind of give away. So that uh -huh. they kept they kept it for their second album and they rewrote they wrote all her shadow. But the thing is, if you listen to it, it's called Who I Am. It's it's unquestionably I think it's, I about it up this school. game. Yeah, who, yeah, who like, they, they, they say like the main chorus is this is who I am not a shadow of what I used to be I mean it's clearly about shadow, shadow. shadow. yeah, yeah. yeah. well yeah. We, we watched the credits again we heard the same commentary we heard during the last credits so yeah that was awesome <laughs> I gotta uh, say one more time I gotta the say only though. thing I took from that is that you said that instead of saying magnify you said mangafy is that uh. it yeah. Well, see, look, see, look, see, I said, I'm pretty sure I said that when we did the first round, which we then redid, which is why I'm saying it a second time. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. I got to say, though, before we completely end this part, have you guys ever seen the Jackie oh. Chan movie, Who Am I? <laughs> no, I never even heard of it. I, 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 I kind of kind of wish. Is it one of the good Jackie Chan movies or one of the uh, Jackie Chan movies? <laughs> what do you watch Jackie Chan movie for? Um, Jackie Chan. I, I, I Hilarious <laughs> Kung Fu hijinks. I know, like a story. <laughs> Oscar-winning performer Jackie Chan. Jackie, Jackie Chan. I watched Jackie Chan for one more, one thing. more thing. Jackie Chan is the Dark Knight. You oh <laughs> <laughs> either die the hero or see yourself part. become <laughs> a villain. No, the best there's uncles. Is. Jackie, yeah, best, J Jackie, Chan plays, Jackie Chan plays the Chinese accountant. I'm very good with calculations. <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst part is, I think Jackie Chan might actually match. I think Jackie Chan's performance as Batman might actually match George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty sure it would at least exceed. Come on. You either Batman die the. Awesome. Uh, admittedly, I probably would watch it. <laughs> you either die the hero oh or God. see yourself become the villain, right, Uncle? Yes, oh Master Wayne. <laughs> See, <laughs> Uncle agrees. I, I have to quickly pee. I mean, back in two seconds. Did you record? Oh, yeah.